Hey, Adrian LaFosse here with the Columbia New Home Buyer Team in Columbia, South Carolina. Well, actually, today we are in the Elgin part of the greater Columbia area. Actually, it's in Kershaw County. We're taking a look at lots available to build on in Kelsney Ridge. Be sure to check out, I've got additional videos that you can find uh, on my website, ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com, or on my YouTube page. Uh, to find out uh, more about Kelsey Ridge, actually Essex Homes builds in this neighborhood, and I've got a client that is actually looking to build a brand new home in this neighborhood. There is currently about six lots that are available, so we're doing a video today of the individual lots because they're out of town. They're not here to pick the lot themselves in person, so we're going to do a re review of the lots. So it's good for you to know that if there's six, now there's going to be five. We don't know which one yet. So you can, you, if you're looking at this video and you're not my client, you can be a client of the Columbia New Home Buyer Team and we can help you with uh, building a new home by Essex Homes. I don't represent Essex Homes, but I represent uh, buyers of new homes. That ensures you get the best deal and the best service. And let's go ahead and take a closer look. This is lot 71 here in Kelsney Ridge. What I'm gonna do is real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and review around so you can see Lots are massive here. They're about from 0.4 acres on up to nearly an acre. Most of them though are about a 0.4 to a half acre. There's some available lots across the street. Just want to give you a quick review. So again, this is lot 71. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the side here and I'll walk down and around. Now you'll notice right here there's a marker not the lots they try to leave the markers up but sometimes they're they're not going to be everywhere but right now you'll notice the points to the left 72 so that to the right is uh, 71 and you can sort of see right there where the grass is stopped that's pretty darn close to the lot line on that side You know, based on looking at this house right here and that house right here, the approximate front of the home will be somewhere right in here, okay? So it will have a slope from the street to the garage, about what you see there, about what you see there. Now. They do, it, it may be hard to tell on the video there, but they do. there's an uptick as it gets closer to the house. The lot does, they've, they've, they've got it so the drainage goes away from the house. So you don't have to worry about that much. They've got, they've got it set up, but there will be a slope here. And I'm walking along the edge of lot 71 here in Kelsney Ridge. I'm gonna show you where I see approximately that the house will sit in the back somewhere in this range right here okay and i'm basing that off of the other house and you know plus or minus uh a little bit of space due to the different sizes of different houses but let's let's say right in there so these trees right here will definitely be gone because it's pretty much about they usually will grade and remove trees about 20 to 30 feet behind the house. So this grouping of trees will be gone. Then you'll notice there's an open area right here. For the most part, this will be left as is. It might be smoothed out a little bit, but those trees right there would stay. Now I'm still walking along the left-hand side of lot 71, and this is the marker right here for the lot. Now there is a chance that it could have been moved, dropped, but actually probably not because there's an actual pen. Usually this is buried right here in the ground where you can't see it, but that's that's the marker of the pen for the lot. Uh, you'll notice going straight across right there is a fence. So that's pretty obvious where the lot goes on this. Not saying it's impossible that the builder would not uh, remove these trees, but that's not their standard, standard MO and there might be an additional cost for it. Okay, I'm actually going to walk 
across the lot. I couldn't right there. I'm gonna walk across right here. Anyway, to get about to the middle, we'll look back up to the road. Again, I'm not in the fully back of the lot because uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually going across that direction, but back there about 20 feet. So you can see where the fence is right there. So it's about 25 feet or so. So we're looking back. Remember the back of the house will come to about just on the other side of those bushes and trees right there. So I'm gonna continue across. It's just one of those things when you're building a house on a lot, even if the lot was flat, I mean, it's honestly, it's really, really hard to tell what the lot's going to be like. But luckily, there is a, there are houses on either side, so it gives you some idea. And I do want to, I want you to notice that, yes, this lot becomes very, very flat once it, you know, finishes its pitch from the street. But you'll notice, this is probably about how that lot was too, but you'll notice that now there's an additional change to the topography and that's because they have to flatten out the part that they're putting the house on so i would venture to say that what you see here would be how this house would end up in lot once the house is put on there And you'll notice too that the grass comes about halfway up. Every lot is different, but you'll notice this is a massive yard. They put the equivalent of grass on here. They would cover it until it gets to the back of the house, but begin because the lots are so large, it only covers about to the halfway point of the house. These do stay here. And there's a fire hydrant right here. So looking back again, just on the other side of that ERA sign is the lot line for the left side. We're on the right side right now. So that's lot 71 in Kelsey Ridge. Okay, this is lot 77 in Kelsey Ridge. Right here, we just did a little tour of lot 71, which is on the other side of the street. This is lot 77, and it's sort of hard to tell exactly. We're going to walk around along the left-hand side, but it, it looks like to me that it's going to be similar to this house to the left, but I don't think it's going to sit quite as high because uh, it doesn't start out that way. It starts off, it starts off flat, and then it does an uptick. Now, obviously, they'll raise the house, so it won't be quite as an upslope as that, but there will be some, again, because they've got to raise the house up and then flatten it out to match, you know, midway with the property. See, on this one, this, this yard's so large that actually the grass only went to... Uh, that point right there on the front of the house but they I mean they do seed but quite honestly you need sod yeah I'd still say that the lot, it might be a slightly flatter than that, but it's gonna be similar to that, where you notice that, you know, initially what they, you know, there is a little bit of downslope away from the house as you need, and then it reaches this, uh, this point right there, and that's where you need the water to flow. You'll notice what happens is when it rains, the water flows down this way, and then goes that way. That's what you're supposed to have happen. And then it goes back up, especially when you have to play with this type of topography. You've got to have, 
It's not going to happen on every lot exactly like that, but it's going to happen somewhere on the lot. And we're walking along the left-hand side of lot 77. There may or may not be a marker back here. And there actually is. 100% what's going to happen with that dirt right there, I don't know exactly. That's the lot line right there, so we're looking back. Pretty much, actually, if you look at that house right there directly in front across the street, the front door, if you aim towards the front door, that's the lot line. And then it goes back that way into there. So I'm not going to walk in there, but I'd pretty much say that it's going to be a similar lot to this right here as far as the topography. A little bit lower, but similar. The question would be, what exactly is going to be behind this? And they might not have an exact answer to that because it might be owned by somebody else and they don't know what's gonna happen, or maybe there's future plans for expansion for this neighborhood. That'd be a question. There is a lot in between 77 and 75, which is the next lot that we're gonna see. It's just not available, and it, it hasn't been built on though yet. You don't have to worry about these holes and how lumpy it is right here. Obviously the builder's gonna fill this all in, tamp it down. So take one last look here at lot 77. And next lot we'll review is lot 75. Before I move on to lot uh, 75, let's talk a little bit more about lot 77. I just walked to the right-hand side of the lot. It looks like to me, it just, it just depends on how much uh, dirt they're gonna bring in. It looks like to me, it's the one to the left of the lot definitely has an upslope. This one right here, I'm looking on this side of the lot, it looks like to me it's a little bit of a slight downslope. I think what they're going to do is they're going to end up, they're still going to raise the house up a bit again. You know, it has to do with drainage and whatnot, but it's total wild card right now on whether or not that the house is going to be very close to level, slightly down or slightly up, but it's going to be slight, is in my opinion, thus far of what I'm seeing here based on the topography. It's gonna be nowhere close to lot 71, which is a total uh, drop down, then more of a flatten out. This right here, it's either gonna be, I, in my opinion, as of right now, it's gonna be a subtle down or subtle up or even, but it's it, it can go either way right now, <laughs> uh, you know, based on what I'm seeing. This side of the lot leans. Um, what it's probably gonna mean is the left-hand side of the lot around the house is gonna be relatively level, but then it's going to lean down to the right uh, so when you're looking at the house, and actually I can sort of see what's going on on that house right there to the left of this lot, is the exact same thing. It's more level to the, le to the left, and then it has that drop off uh, to the right if you want to review the video and look at that house again. So 